Let's Hope, and today we're with Matt Fullard in front of the 2025 Zephyr. And today he's going to be showing us some things that you may need to know about your coach. One of the first things would probably be how to set up their coach when they get to a campground. So let's go inside and take a look. So this is our control knob on the early 25s and prior Zephyrs. This is the same dash that you're going to see in most of your Phaeton and bus coaches um, previous to the 25 year model. As you can see, this is the valid dash cluster with the two large round gauges. We can see our air temperature as far as our tires and stuff here. Where you really want to go and a lot of people have concerns about is their leveling system and how it operates. So what you'll want to do is go to leveling. We're going to press enter. You can, from this point, you can select auto level. Then you're going to tell the coach how you want it to level, whether you want it to use the air side of the leveling or the jack side of the leveling. Air side of the leveling, if we select it, the system's going to go into its that recording and it's going to take a measurement to see how the coach needs to sit to be able to level the coach out. Air leveling, if I was on the soft ground, if I was at the beach, if I was at some fairgrounds, anything like that, staying in a friend's yard, I would use air leveling so my jacks don't go down and sink into the dirt. If I was on a good concrete pad, a nice asphalt place, something like that with a good hard surface underneath, then I would use my hydraulic jack leveling. Occasionally your leveling system will give you a fault error. And what will happen is once it goes into a fault error, the system goes into a self-protect mode. It stops all functions. Well, the way to clear that will be to go into your leveling menu. You'll go down to more. You'll go to system. You'll go to diagnostics. Once you click diagnostics, it prompts you for a clear current suspension trouble codes. We're gonna hit clear. That will clear our fault. Once that fault is cleared, the system will let us have control again. We can simply go up and hit travel. Now the coach will go back to its normal travel ride height. So on our new system, one thing that a lot of people have questioned on is their new adaptive cruise control. The adaptive cruise control has three settings. You have a long distance, a medium distance, and a short distance. So long distance is if I wanted to keep multiple, multiple car lengths between me and the object in front of me while I was in cruise going down the highway. Medium shortens that distance a little bit. Short gives me the shortest distance between me and the object in front of me. So whether that's another car, a truck, or if you're caravanning in a group, the coach in front of you. The other thing that you can do is actually disable that from here. The one thing that the system will not let you do is turn the volume for it all the way down. You can turn the volume down low, but you cannot turn the volume off. So to turn your volume down, you'd go into settings, scroll up to sound volume, go to CMS sound, and then your knob kind of usually will start out around 50%. You can rotate the knob around and drop that volume down and go to 5%, 5% and as low as you can go. You cannot go any lower. Press save, it'll say, hey, you set it for a very low setting. Is that what you really want? You tell it yes, it has saved that setting. So we're on the lowest volume for our CMS that you can get. Thanks, Matt, for all that information. I have two follow-up questions. Okay. So how is this process different on our other TIFA models? Most of them are pretty similar. There's a couple of different versions. Um, our Lippert style systems are different as far as the controls and the setup, and we'll go over that in a different video. Okay, and my next question is, how is this different from our Power Glide chassis by Freightliner? A lot of it's gonna be almost the same system and same setup. The controls to operate it are just a little bit different, and we'll go check that out now. Okay, perfect, thank you.